Hey guys, Operation City here with another Star Wars Zilla Republic video, and today we're going to discuss the Gunslinger Sharpshooter. Now, what we got here is the combat preferences that I choose. Uh, I, use, I choose Ballistic Dampeners, Snapshot, and Deficient Ammo, Heads Up, Hot Wired Defenses, Lay Low, Held Up, and shield reserve. Now, with shield reserve, you want that for operations. Um, that is like a, your raid buff. This is the raid buff for the smuggler class. It's also the same as the sniper class. Um, and also, we are going to go over the gear. Uh, this is the basic gear. This is going to be your basic stats. Uh, I would go with 1579. Uh, 1300 alacrity and 794 uh, now you want a hundred and ten percent so what I found is 794 accuracy is the one that gives you that so roughly everything's gonna change this is only a basic 230 gear set uh, this will be if you're first starting out and you got the level 70 and you've already got a bunch of comms and you're ready to use them to get your gear so you want to start out with your 230s but you don't know where to start so this is where I'm going to show you you want your alacrity enhancement headpiece with an accuracy augmentation you want your chest piece with a critical enhancement with a critical augmentation and then you want your accuracy on your accuracy enhancement on your gloves which then gives you an accuracy augmentation that will possibly be changed out uh, based on the gearing for the next level now, right now I have a 230, uh, 236 belt, um, which roughly you won't have. You'll have a 236. So really, the only thing that changes here is mastery, endurance, and power. Now, what you want to do is you want to throw a critical enhancement, a critical augmentation in there. Then you want to go to your boots, which are 230s. You want a critical rating uh, enhancement. Then you want your critical rating augmentation. Then you go into your boots, which then gives you an accuracy augmentation with an alacrity rating. So you want your alacrity augmentation with your accuracy enhancement. Then you're going to go to your offhand, which is basically going to give you an alacrity enhancement. Then you'll throw in there your critical crystal and your accuracy augmentation. Now, also going into the main hand is a little different. The main hand is going to have an alacrity enhancement giving you your critical crystal with your critical enhancement. Then what I did with the relics is I threw in an alacrity, alacrity rating augmentation and the other one has a critical augmentation. Then going into my gloves, which has a augmentation, I mean, I'm um, sorry, not, yeah, it's this, augmentation of a critical rating. Then you go into your ear, your implants, which then you have an alacrity in, implant and a critical implant, which then I evened out with an alacrity augmentation for the alacrity one and a critical augmentation for the critical one. Now going into your earpiece, you're going to add a, an alacrity enhancement for your earpiece and a alacrity augmentation. Now roughly as you go up into your gear, 230s, 6s, 242s, and so on, you're going to wind up changing out augmentations. Now the augmentations I would sacrifice first would be your accuracy because you just need the base rate of 110. Um, now for PvP, you don't really, from what I've heard, you don't need accuracy at all. So you can build up on your alacrity and critical. Now off this build, I am using a accuracy and critical rating uh, stem, which then adds to my crit and accuracy. So roughly, as you can see, you probably add up the numbers. My accuracy, I don't have that much. Um, so by using the stem helps out and gets me to my base rate, which I'm going to keep building off the stem, which is a very easy build. That way you've already hit your base accuracy and you only have to work with alacrity and crit. Now we're going to go into the rotation. Roughly the rotation I use is aimed shots, penetrating rounds, burst volley, back to penetrating rounds, charged burst, trick shot, aimed shot, charged burst, penetrating rounds. Now the thing is, it's rinse and repeat with the rotation. 
But the one thing is you want to keep an eye on is penetrating rounds. You want to get that every time it's on cooldown. And also you want to try to uh, time it just right to where you have the penetrating rounds and the burst volley. Now you'll use your penetrating rounds and if burst volley is not on cooldown, don't, don't worry about it. You'll just go through the rotation of trick shot, aimed shot, charged burst, and once penetrating rounds is on cooldown, roughly around the second round of doing your rotation, you will have burst volley. But you want to hit penetrating rounds before you hit burst volley. So that way you get bur you get penetrating rounds off twice. Um, let's see. I'm going to go into star parse here. Get the star parse up. As you can see, uh, the DPS I've already tried previously is uh, 5.5. With that rotation so just getting just just that one thing in mind is penetrating rounds is your main ability and you want to hit it every time it's cooled down um, roughly I will sh right now I'm gonna show you uh, the rotation in action I'm gonna do a fast rotation because you I've already explained the rotation in a slow the slowest way I could with aimed shots penetrating rounds, burst volley, back to penetrating rounds, then uh, charge burst, trick shot, aim shot, roughly back to charge burst. So it's roughly in that complete circle you just want right here. Now I mean there'll be times where uh, take cover, yeah you're gonna wanna hit take cover to keep yourself shielded so don't forget to ever hit take cover and your buffs like dodge, and hunker down and uh, defense screen you want to make sure you have those around to where you can hit them roughly as you can see is I have my main rotation up here in front with my buffs later on um, now there's also once you get the boss down to 28% quick draw is going to come up now you're going to be fighting with cooldowns between penetrating rounds and quick draw you're going to want those two added. Do you want quick quick draw added into your rotation? Um, all right. So here we go. We're going to do the quick and fast rotation so you can actually see that you will hit the DPS mark of at least over 5K.
and that is it that is the complete rotation as you can see it's 5.2 I did a little better last time because I I slipped up a little bit with uh, burst volley but hey we all make mistakes but we got past our 5k mark with our 230s uh, roughly that's what you're gonna be at of the 230s uh, no matter what you do you're gonna have when you first start out you're probably gonna have a burst of at least 7k with your first initial burst then you're gonna slow down to roughly 5k uh, that is with the 230s. Once you start getting up in the gear levels and your numbers start going up, you will wind up at least at 9K. Um, that is it for this video. Uh, if you like to know any more, or you have any questions, please comment down below. Hit that like on this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.